up what's up what's up welcome back to creo bay welcome fam welcome to all the new family as well i see we just reached another hundred so now we're at 22.2k I just want to say thank you welcome to all the new family i'm so happy you're over here to enjoy life with me hubby children parents brothers all the whole nine okay everything everything i hope you all had an amazing day today it is now late it's time to wind down relax fresh off of work and I was like I gotta give these guys a video I have to give these guys a video and going off of everything that has been coming to my DM <laughs> it looks like it's time for a little catch up with Creo Bay right so I did put a poll up on my Instagram and Facebook and I just ask anyone to just ask me any questions you want answers for so i would definitely be answering these questions honestly and raw okay so i hope you're ready get your tissue if you need your tissue too in case you need to cry or any of that or smile or clap or get you a shot glass any of it okay but let's get ready for this i will be putting everyone's question on the screen as well just to give my wonderful supporters friends family a little shout out and for you to see i did not pull these questions out of my high knee okay so you will see them right here on the screen we're going to give a hand clap and say hi to for everyone that asked me these questions now i must say i did get the same questions over and over and over and over so, so i do have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen questions on here for, that i chose from the pool that was, once again, like I said, that I had up on my Instagram and Facebook. So, we're going to dive right on up in these. Like I said, thank you guys for tuning in, coming to see Creo Bay. And like I said, it's time to catch up with Creo Bay. So, come on and let's get down and dirty, okay? Down and dirty. So, the first one. First one came from my BFF, my long lost sister, my sister from another mother and a father. <laughs> my best friend, like I said, Ashana. And she asked me, are you ready for your graduation turn up? Uh, am I ready? Guys, I don't think you understand. I'm finishing my bachelor's. It's time to walk across the stage again. I'm so excited. I actually have two classes left. But, well, you might as well say one and a half because this class I'm in now, I have two more weeks and I'm finished. And then I have one more class that will last me for four weeks. So six more weeks of school, I will be hitting that submit button and backing away. Okay, backing away and it's time for the turn up. The turn up is real. I'm very, very excited. Once again, pat on my back because, you know, there was times where I'm like, you know, screw this. Like, why am I doing this? I'm done with it. I'm over it. But I have to keep reminding myself. Latoya, you're doing this for a reason. It's all going to be worth it when you're done. All gonna be worth it. So I'm so excited. Like I said, six more weeks of school and a sister's done with that and on to the next. And I'm still up in the air on the next one. So I'm up in the air with two different master's degrees. One of them is a master's in nursing and the second one is a master's in healthcare administration. So I'm still up in the two. I'm going between different schools because I have been, uh, I've applied for four different universities already and I've already got into three of them. One of them is a private school here. So we're going to see what happens and what, what we're going to do. Okay. So y'all tell me, what do y'all think? Y'all know I love healthcare. I've been in healthcare for 11, 12 years now and I know I'm passionate about it. It's just, I'm up in the air if... I want my masters to be in nursing or to be more of a leadership. So I don't know yet. I don't know, but y'all help me figure that out. Go down in the comments, tell me which one you think I should be doing. But yes, sis, I'm ready for the turn up. I hope you ready for the turn up because it's gonna be time to party, okay? Party. All right, the next one. And guys, sorry if I demolish your name, it will be right here on the screen. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm gonna say that right now. The next one came comes from Metria Trina. I think. Well, once again, it's right here on the screen, okay? And actually, hers is no question. She says, no question. Love the family videos. Thank you. Thank you so much for even 
coming on here to even say this to me once again this is why i continue to post this is why i continue to record i know you know rakan's real busy with work but i feel like this is my purpose like i love this i love this and I just feel like this is something that I can continue to do even though my career path is in healthcare. But I love this and I will continue to do it. So thank you so, so much. All right, the next question comes from Soraya.splurge. And she asks, what is my favorite hobby? My favorite hobby. Well, for anyone that doesn't know and doesn't follow me on Instagram, which is Latoya Mucker underscore right here on the screen, <laughs> I have a long lost hidden talent, which is singing. I absolutely love to sing. I love to sing. But then, you know, kids came along, adulthood, bills. So I'm like, ah, you're just a hobby baby. You're not <laughs> something I'm just going to take full throttle and try to go sing and be Beyonce, okay? But for anyone who have not heard me see, sing before, go over there to my Instagram, LaToyaMucker underscore, and there's a little thing on my little profile that says sing, and you'll see a lot of singing videos there. Another hobby I love to do is, I love to read. I love to read, read, it's fundamental for the brain read pick up a book and read only even if you just read one chapter a day one chapter a day that's all you gotta do but right now i'm reading this book our kind of people which is actually also a show a series on fox i'm not sure if it's still on anymore but i know it is a series on fox but my best friend ashana she got me hooked to this book it is amazing bought it from amazon so the link will be down there in the description but this is a very great book i recommend it highly recommend it all right this next question comes from carnelia mckenzie i think <laughs> once again it's right here on the screen and they say i love your videos they inspire me so much i love you i hope everything is okay oh well i love you too thank you so much for spreading your love and loving me as much as i love you and your question is, is everything okay? Everything is amazing, sweetie. Amazing. Just adulting, <laughs> going to work, taking care of these kids, catering to my husband and everything, okay? That is it. But I am great. Thank you so, so much for asking me if I'm okay. All right. Next question is Melina.span.58, right here on the screen. And she says, this is not a question, but I love y'all show and I'm your biggest supporter. Oh, Melina, thank you so, or Melanie, or Melina. Yeah, whichever one. <laughs> Sorry I slandered your name, but you are right here on the screen. And thank you so much. We love you and thank you for all your support. All right, the next one comes from Ice6034. And they ask, how are you? Are you okay, happy, sad? I am great. I'm blessed. You know, like I said, guys, life can be life. <laughs> Who doesn't experience life? Like, we're all here, but I'm thankful. I'm going to say that because there's some people that can't experience life anymore. So, I am very thankful, but I am happy. Everything's amazing. I'm great. I promise you. No holding back at all. <laughs> of course, you know, all of us go through our ups and downs, our happy days, our sad days, you know, I can definitely contest to that. I have my days <laughs> that I just need to sit down and talk to my counselor or pop one of my anxiety or depression pills, but I also pray about it. I pray and I leave that all up to God. I cannot stress over anything. Stress kills, literally, I can promise you that because <laughs> that was my only cause for the reasons why I had seizures for so long. So I do not hold on to the stress. I allow the stress to go. Once I pray about it, uh, I'm leaving it in his hands because there's nothing else I can do about it. Stress is just gonna give me a migraine and I'm gonna wanna lay in the bed all day under the covers in a dog and we ain't trying to do all of that, okay? So. For any of you out there that's not doing well, my first advice is drop to your knees, pray about it, and leave it in his hands. If you're still stressing over it after praying about it, you have no faith. You have to have faith. Pray about it, do what you can to make things better, and let it go. It all, it's all gonna work out at the end, all of it. All right, next question comes from Kiki underscore three two three three two 
And she says, when are you going to have a baby? When am I going to have a baby? It's a very good question, Kiki, because as you know, we were discussing having a little mucker. But after going through, after going to see a fertility specialist and going through the process of IVF and everything they would have to do, and just knowing that you can go through that process, you can pay all the money for the process, go through it and still lose their baby. And that is one thing mentally, I don't think I can handle. I mentally don't think that I would be able to be so excited, worked up with my husband, knowing that we're about to have a baby and I lose the baby. I Mentally, I cannot do it. <laughs> I cannot, I did discuss with my husband, he definitely understand and Rakan is okay with that. So as of now and as of my mental state, we have decided that we would not be having a baby. So there would not be a little mucker running around. So no baby as of now. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that because we don't know what the future holds. We never know. My mental might get better and I might just be like, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. But as of right now, I just don't think mentally I can do it and Rakan understands and he supports me and he has my back and like I said we don't know what the future holds so we'll see about the future but as of now no baby <laughs> all right the next one goes to oh girl I don't know if I can say your name on this screen but uh you see it right here I'm just gonna have to cross out <laughs> the curse word but head b underscore n underscore charge okay girl well, she asks, how is life treating you physically and mentally? Be honest. How is life treating me? Life is life. <laughs> life is life. Like I said, there are moments where I'm torn down to my knees and I have to pray. I have to pray to stay strong and be the mother and the wife that I can be, the daughter I can be, the student, the employee I can be. I have my meltdowns i have my meltdowns like i've told you all in previous videos i am well known for running to the doctor so i go and sit down and have my one-on-one -on -one sessions and release and have conversations because having those conversations with whoever i have i'm having the situation with or even if i'm not having a situation with someone it could be just me in a funk for the day. Me just feeling down, sad, depressed. It doesn't have to come with the cause. It, no one causes that. Sometimes with depression, you just wake up and you have those days. You have those days where you're like, I'm just gonna lay here. Like, <laughs> I don't wanna do nothing. I just wanna cry. Like, we all have those days, but we all have to know how to handle those days. And it is okay to cry. It is okay to let it out because uh, trust me, bottling all of that up inside, you're going to explode. But yes, we all have our days. We just need to know how to handle those days. But mentally, physically, I'm great. I'm blessed. Like I said, I don't feel like I have any need or reason to be complaining with all that every everyone or even things I experience at work. You know, being in the healthcare field, seeing the different emotions, the different disabilities, the different mental states, all of that, seeing all of the sickness, I feel like there is no need for me to be complaining about anything. Even my depressed days. My depressed days, I know how to handle them now. My, my kids, my husband, all everyone knows what I need when I'm down and in a funk. And honestly, your support system is the most important because if you don't have that, it can just make depression even worse, honestly, even worse. But just continue to have faith, continue to pray, and go see someone, please. It is okay to go see someone, trust me. <laughs> okay, next question comes from Honey Junior and Renaya Mommy. Just right here on the screen in case I didn't say your names right. But they said, what goals, what are my goals for the rest of the year? My goal would be to, of course, complete these last two classes with a very high GPA, um, walk across the stage. Uh, next goal would be to touch 
so many more in any way that I can. Even if it's through YouTube, Instagram, face to face, in person, any of that. So continue to touch as many people as I possibly can and inspire. Uh, next is to better work on communication. I must say that I have a tendency to when something's wrong right then and there I tend to hold on to it and say something later so I've been working on communication because communication is important not just in a marriage or relationship but in anything when it comes to our kids when it comes to us working somewhere everything communication is extremely important and that is something that's always been hard for me so i'm currently working on that i'm i plan on getting way better with communication <laughs> communication and let's see my fifth one would be to continue on my weight loss journey i've been doing great exercising eating habits all of that and honestly that is my therapy when i go to the gym i'm in the zing and i can't hear or see anything that's going on literally so continue my weight loss journey i plan on reaching that goal by next year and just continue to help others that's ready to lose weight come on over here let's do it together <laughs> and just be the best woman i can be the best woman i can be but those are my goals for this year with well, the rest of the year <laughs> all right guys so five more questions all right and this next question comes from summer underscore connors and she says, would you do a meet and greet in another state? Love your videos and beautiful family. Oh, well, thank you so much. We love you too. A meet and greet in another state? Uh, I would love to. Don't get me wrong. I would love to. But I don't feel like I'm that popular to do a meet and greet in another state yet. So I'm going to say that yet. <laughs> I don't think I'm there yet as far as, you know, supporters and people that want to meet face to face but of course if someone stay here in houston or louisiana because you know i'm back and forth <laughs> then i'll be more than happy to meet them and it doesn't have to be a big old event to do that i'll be more than happy to meet but yeah as far as the meet and greet one day i would love to do that but right now i don't think i'm i don't think i have the time nor the support as far as as many followers that yeah so i think you know once I, once my channel grows and we gain more and more subscribers and that way when I make these meet and greet tours to different states, you know, I am able to see a lot of people and yeah, I just think once we grow, then I'll be more than happy <laughs> to do a meet and greet in another state. But for now, you know, I'm more than happy to there, I think you can do video calls on Instagram or stuff like that. I'm more than happy to do things like that. So please feel free to go over to my Instagram with ToyaMucker underscore. Send me a message and I'll be more than happy to do a little video call with you on Instagram. All right, the next one comes from my other friendy friendy, which I also call my sis, Brittany. And I'm gonna say this right now guys I'm putting both of them on the screen but I am crossing out their last names and their profile pictures because some people seem to be a little you know loony and uh, they'll go and look for your friends and DM your friends and all kind of retarded stuff so yeah their names are partially blocked out with their face just for that reason but yeah, she says, who's your favorite adopted sister? Hint, it's me. Yes, it is. You know, I love me some you, Brit. She is someone that I worked with for a long time. She is amazing. So sweet down to earth. And we always do, me, her, and two other friends, we always do monthly meetups for girls. You know, we do it our little girl outing. I don't know if you all seen us recently get a tattoo on my Instagram. Like, we just do things like that. Go out to eat once a month or go get a tattoo or build candles or just go shopping, you know? And I feel like it's good to be able to break away from your household and be like, okay, it's girl time. <laughs> Let me go enjoy some friends, get away, eat some good food, and just release. And then I'll come back home and get back into the road. But yes, it's amazing. So, of course, Brittany, you know I love me some you. And you are definitely one of my long-lost adopted sisters. All right. Next question comes from Bless Lernique underscore. 
and she says are you happy in your marriage 